Welcome to my March vlog. It is the 28th, a Saturday. Yay, we're on the weekend! Currently, I am reading Jane Eyre by Charlotte Bronte. This is a reread. I read this for the first time 10 years ago. 10 years! So I figured that it was time for a reread. <laughs> and I'm liking it just as much as I did then. I am about this far. Not very far. <laughs> I think I'm on chapter like 14 or so around there. So I'm going to go try and read some of that right now. Um, I know I'm obviously not going to finish it before March is over because it is a brick. Um, later on I'll show you what other books I read in March. I actually read quite a bit in March. Like, It's quite impressive. <laughs> Read a lot of books online too, so obviously I'll tell you about those ones too. Hey, so I'm gonna go over the books I read in March. First one I read was The Storyteller's Daughter by Cameron Doki. This was a retelling of, uh, what is it? A Thousand and One, no, what is it called? Is it a retelling of the Arabian Nights? I can't remember the other title. A Thousand and One Stories or something? Anyway, it's where, like, the girl marries this guy, and the guy is going to kill her if she doesn't, like... Well, I don't know what she doesn't do, but anyway, she starts telling him this story um, that goes on for, like, a really, really long time so that he doesn't kill her. I know, real cheery, right? It was right. Um, and then I reread um, a se or series. I reread a book from my childhood. <laughs> Um, called The Boxcar Children by, what's her name, by Gertrude, by Gertrude Chandler Warner. This is about four kids, four, uh, two boys and two girls, and they, um, their parents die. Yeah, anyway, they're orphans, and they are supposed to live with their grandfather, but they're, like, they don't know him, so they're scared of him, so they go run away. And they live in this train car, um, and live <laughs> live there. And then eventually, you know, their grandfather finds them, and they find out that he's nice, and you know, they go live with him. I guess I just spoiled the ending. <laughs> but anyway, that's a very long series, and I've read quite a few of those, but I don't have those books anymore, so um, I'll just I just wanted to reread the first one to like feel all nostalgia and stuff. And then I read OCD, The Dude and Me by Lauren Rohde Vaughn. This was about a girl, you know, going through school and all that, but she has OCD, which is something that I don't think I've ever read about before. So it's pretty interesting. Um, it was also humorous. She's very, very funny. And it was written like, um, I think it was written in like diary form, which I find really interesting. Um, and then I read, where is it? Then I read Eight Cousins by Louisa May Alcott. I was reading this in um, my last vlog and I finished it. Um, it's about this girl who, uh, her parents are dead, so she's an orphan too, a lot of orphans. And she goes and lives with her uncle and her aunt. She has a whole bunch of aunts. <laughs> and then they have children, so that's be her cousins. So she has to go get used to, like, living with a bunch of boys and they all become friends and that kind of thing. And this has a sequel called Rose and Bloom, which I would like to read perhaps this month, or this month, next month in April. I liked it a lot. Um, and then, and then I read The Great Gatsby by F. Scott Fitzgerald. This is a classic, I think. I think it was very, like, uh, not much plot to it really. Like I found that a lot in some older books don't have much plot. Um, it's about a man who is infatuated with a girl called Daisy, and but of course she's married. So it's this ended in a way that I had no idea that it was gonna end. Like what happened to the main character it was like wow. <laughs> I won't give it away, but. Um, so this reminded me very much of um, 
like the writing style reminded me of Ernest Hemingway and um oh John Steinbeck yeah it kind of reminded me of those kind of books that uh, kind of writing style very like um I was gonna say simple but like very much like there's not much plot I don't think I don't know it was alright Fred the Borrowers by Mary Norton um this is a classic too and it's um, about these people that are like really like tiny and they live like under the floorboards of this like normal size people's house and they like borrow stuff from the people like to, like to live with to, like to use for themselves and then one day they get discovered by the people who live there and chaos and zoos um and then i read tuesday with maury by mitch Albom. this is a non-fiction book it's about a guy who he goes and spends time with his dying teacher we haven't seen in a long time and like he um they have like lessons like um every tuesday <laughs> Like so, he just teacher the the teacher just teaches him you know life lessons and stuff until he dies. Oops, <laughs> spoiler. And then I read "Nothing Bad Is Going to Happen" by Kathleen Hale. This was a um, second book in a series. The first one is called uh, I can't remember what the first one's called, but <laughs> anyway, I thought this series was really good. Um, it follows this girl who kind of like solves a murder mystery in her small, small town. Um, and it was like humor, she's very funny, very, very, um, she talks. And um, I thought it was pretty good. I like murder mystery type stuff. Um, and then I read Echoes of Dollenganger by V.C. Andrews. This was um, also part of a series, I think this was book two. Um, the series is called Christopher's Diary, I believe. And it's like also part of the um, Flowers in the Attic series, but like way later on, like in time, where like this girl finds Christopher's diary from the first, like the very first book, and she reads it and she finds out about the scandal. <laughs> and then I read Exit West by Mostin Hamid. Um, this was a fantasy where these two uh, guy and girl they meet and they fall in love, and then. Um, like their their country is like war torn, so they want to escape it, and they escape it by going through these doorways that take them to like other cities around the world. So it was like a fantasy element. Um, I found it like it's a teeny bit boring. Um, and then I read Pygmalion by George Bernard George Bernard Shaw. I had just like watched the movie of this, the one with Leslie Howard, so I wanted to go and read the book. It's actually a play, so it's pretty short, so it's easy to get through. It's about this girl um, who sells flowers on the street, and she's not very, she's like poor, not very educated. So this um, phonetics teacher takes her in and tries to pass her off as like this classy lady. Um, by like changing her speech and the way she dresses and the way she acts and all that. Um, it was pretty good. <laughs> I think um, I like the second movie better, My Fair Lady, with um, Audrey Hepburn, better than the one with Leslie Howard, even though I really like Leslie Howard in Gone with the Wind. He's such a nice guy. <laughs> and then the final book that I read in March um, was The Princess Diaries by Meg Cabot. This was a reread. Um, I wanted to reread it just to like remember what it was like because I couldn't remember like if I had read it or not, but I think I did. I think I've read other ones in that series too, but I couldn't remember. So I was like, I'll read the first one. So it's about this girl who finds out she's a princess and how her life changes and all that. And I really like that movie too. Well, I like the first movie. I didn't really care for the second one. Um, and then I was saying to myself, maybe I'll read all the Princess Diaries series or books since they are online. I found them all. In fact, there's, um, the May Cabot actually wrote a new one, like, set, like, years later when she's an adult. So maybe I'll read that too, after I read the, the original series. So those were the books I read. That was, that was 12 books, pretty good for March. Um, I wanted to read 8, so that's pretty good. I 
beat my expectations. <laughs> okay, see you later. So it's night time now, and I was just reading some of Jane Eyre. I only got like two chapters done, so I'm on chapter 16 now. <laughs> Still a lot to go. I think there's 38 chapters, so that's not halfway, no. Not even halfway yet. Um, I'm gonna say goodnight for now. Good night. Oh, it is Sunday, the 29th, March. <laughs> I've read two more chapters of Jane Eyre, so I'm on chapter 18 now. <laughs> Slowly but surely. Hopefully I can read some more of this today. Maybe get halfway. <laughs> I think there's only, yeah, there's only one more chapter to get halfway. But I'll also try and think of other things I can film to entertain you. Unlikely, but I'll try. So, see ya. <laughs> it's night time now. I'm saying goodnight, and I read until chapter 25 today of this. I got into a little reading spray with it. Um, I think my favorite chapter is chapter 19, um, because of the part where Mr. Rochester dresses up as a gypsy and like plays a prank on them. I just think that's really like cute and funny. Hopefully that wasn't a spoiler. <laughs> anyway. Um, I also included a clip of the sojourn, sojourn, however you say that word, outside with the dog. And it was this raining just a little bit, and it was one of those refreshing rains. Not a bad rain at all. It felt nice. And what else did I do? I watched the Charlie's Angels um, and its sequel, and I laughed so hard. They were so funny. <laughs> I forgot how funny they were. Yeah, I think I like the first one better. I really like the scene in the castle. <laughs> um, I think that's it for tonight. So I'll see you tomorrow. Hello. It is Monday. The 30th. <laughs> We're almost out of the month. Oh my goodness. It's almost April. I haven't done any reading yet today. Um, I haven't really done much. It's like the afternoon. So I'll see how far I can get in the book today. I don't think I'm going to finish it, although I did get farther than I thought I was going to yesterday. I read quite a bit yesterday. I was on a roll. Um, but we'll see what happens today. Okay, so it is night time now. I'm going to end the vlog here. Say goodnight and stuff. I did not read any more of Jane Eyre, but I did start reading um, a new book. Uh, I decided to try reading a thriller, which is something I don't usually read, um, but it's called uh, Baby Doll by Holly Overton, <laughs> I think. Um, and it's about a kidnapping victim, which is a subject that I think is interesting, so I decided to try that. I don't really know how, the th like, how thrillers are. I guess it's supposed to be thrilling, but I don't know whether the thriller aspect comes in, but um, I guess maybe someone's going to chase her and try and kill her and that sort of thing. That's usually what thrillers are, I guess. <laughs> Killing. But um, I got about, like, I think I'm on chapter 15 there. Um, so... I'll find out next month how it went. <laughs> 